So this is a good one. This one's one that comes up uh, quite a bit. What would it take to rem- remove judicial immunity from family court? Uh, probably a lot. Um, and I don't necessarily know if we would want a blanket removal of judicial immunity. I think uh, I think one thing we've seen in the past 12 months that probably needs to get looked at is the quasi judicial immunity. Um, I'm not a huge fan of all the third parties that get involved in family courts, some more active than in other states. California is not as bad as some states, um, but the guardians ad litem. We've seen issues in Chicago and St. Louis with those, the therapists, the evaluators, those people. I think though that that's kind of the first layer of this judicial immunity that needs to go because a lot of states are finding that they have quasi judicial immunity. So when they they're the bad actor, they hide behind this immunity and it prevents parents from getting just outcomes. Um, so judicial immunity, what would it take? I mean, you're I, I, I don't see a plausible situation where you're going to get it removed in a blanket situation. Do I think chipping it away and preventing it from just being a blanket immunity could be a good thing? Potentially. I'm not not so sure, certain on that. And the reason why is because if you don't have judicial immunity, what you're going to end up having is every single parent that doesn't like their outcome running to state court or running to federal court and suing the judge, suing the courts, suing the county, suing the state. And you're going to cause an even bigger backlog. Um, I think there are other ways that we can create accountability rather than creating that problem that that would be really hard to resolve because these judges are already overworked and are already seen um, too many cases. Now you're going to throw in them regularly getting sued. Um, I think we can get rid of the blanket judicial immunity, but there's going to, there has to be some level of judicial immunity to just for the sanctity of the court and to have the courts available to the public to go to. So that's a really good question. Um, Like I said, the quasi judicial immunity, I think that's got to go. If you're an actor in the court system and you're not the judge, um, if you're, you're a guardian ad litem, if you're a child's attorney, if you're any of those things, an evaluator, a therapist that's operating in that realm, you should not be granted immunity. So that's, that's my piece on, on that, that judicial immunity. 